breathing isolation. Okay. level sensor is much more stable. No, it's not those. Not updated. I went through all this and I couldn't find it. DSC. Um, you can turn off. I turned off the DSC. You can turn it off. We're not using it, so. I think just that CTD hooked up to it, even though it's off. But it should open both lines, so I don't quite get that. convinced when we turned on some lights at ground faulted, but I don't see how that's possible. Unless it's a switching gear inside the bottle. Yeah. Uh, but it that doesn't it, do anything. So it's something as soon as it hits the water, it faults. So um it's something that's turned on in the ROV macro. So okay. What all is that? And Dan, that uh, RV launch macro is still limited to how many things it can do. I have no idea. I've never looked at oh, that. That was my understanding on why cam starboard can't come on, because it can only do so many things. Yeah, I don't know how that, if that's in the any file somewhere. We can have Jake have a look at that. <laughs> it's up his alley. No. Yeah. The ROV launch macro. What the hell is going on with that thing? Um, bubble has been another historic one. Turn the bubble off. And there goes set three. Ten seconds. Wow. Well, no, it's not bubble. I did. I checked all the cameras already. What haven't I checked? Oh, lasers? No, because they don't come on. Lasers did have a ground fault last year. Yeah. Bob and I fixed that, though. Yeah, there's still a wounded one laying on the bench there. Let's see, do you got aft cam off, or is it just freaking out? Uh, I think I turned it off because there was a little, it seemed like it helped the ground fault a little bit. But it says it's on here, so. Maybe it's. Oh, wait, sorry, that's a light. I'm on the wrong page. You can turn <laughs> back on. You're dragging Atlanta 10 meters at the moment? I was, I was trying to extend back out. Uh, I was getting pretty close, but... <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, GFD hunts. Uh, GFD notes. <coughs> Look 
try some of the lights. Do you try? Some, do you already try the lights? No. All right. Try the aft lights. They're 110 lights, so it shouldn't. Watch change oh, yeah, video. Videos off comms. Enjoy the rest of your dive. Roger. Roger. <coughs> not yep. that. It's updating. With butt cam, it jumps back to 300k. I think Danny was convinced the whip on that one was yeah. ground, grounded. I don't want to turn it off right now, but the octans yeah. Yeah. was one. Seeking? Uh, yeah, I could try that one. I just pushed it. butt cam will mask it a bit. Yeah, that's true. Could be. See, I'm going to turn off. Uh, oh, we didn't try the mezzo. Oh, I think we did. I think I turned it off. Oh, you did do yep. the mezzo? Yep. I never saw it stop. I think I've already tried this one before. off. the paro Did you ever turn off the internet bottle? I did. Uh. <coughs> yeah, we've nothing gone, nothing we've on the paro. Just updated. Gone, we're going through all this shit, so no. well, Probably the one we don't turn off. <laughs> <laughs> the octans. Well, yeah, we did have one on the octans, and we took it apart. And um, here, I'll do this. And I'll switch you over. TCM two. Yeah. Go to TCM two, and then yeah. turn the octans off. TCM two. Good. Yeah. You can turn that back on so Maybe. I don't forget because it'll persist through the time. <laughs> the TCM2 thing will. You don't have any autos on anyway, so nope. it can spin up as normal. <coughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know what else. 
Temp CTD O2. Ooh, the temp sensor. Yeah. Yeah. Where's that? I just shut it off. Okay, I'll go back to the lab. No, this update. Well, at least we found one. Could be something short out in the bottle. Because it goes away as soon as we... I mean, it shows up like I saw it uh, the other day as soon as we hit the water. Before we were even off the crane. Yeah, it does show up as soon as it splashes. Yeah. Shows up. yeah. Well, a little Maybe bit you look on the macro and see what devices are on there when you get a chance. Right. I don't know where that macro is. Is it in the any file? Probably. I can look. I haven't spent too much time in the any file, but I can dig into it. There is a copy of it on the... Engineer computer? I think there's a copy of it. On the USB key, on the white USB key. Oh, okay. Or you can just pull a copy off. Uh, I have a copy somewhere from 149. Oh, just look at that. What'd you do? I turned off the O2 and the CTD, so it's one of those two. Yes. <laughs> I'll, tr I'll turn on the CTD, see, see if that works. Our CTD. Yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> You're a genius, Jake. Oh, up to two. <laughs> Sweet. We'll see. It's either O2 or CTD. So butt cam was good for about 200K? Yep. Oh, I bet you it's the, I'll bet you it's the O2, that funky connector. Yep, O2. Yeah. O2 oh, down that, to 500. That thing is probably green. So, yeah. O2 um, and butt cam. And Danny thinks it's the butt cam whip, not the camera. It's yeah, cool. we've played that. Up. But you can turn butt, turn all the cameras back on now, see what it... Yeah. It's still not great. This uh, craft power is probably... I'll turn off the craft power. I think I already did. You did? Yeah, I did. That was like the first thing I turned off. Yeah. I need to send you an email. Oh yeah, butt cam back to 384. <clears throat> So sorry, with butt cam off, it was 500k, something like that. Yeah, and then with O2 off, it was 2 megs. Alright. Don't be no stinking O2 sensor. Yeah, that little, yeah, I forgot yeah. all about that silly little Tritec connector. I wonder who put that back on. Someone who's not very anal with O-rings. <laughs> we mentioned his name earlier. Fucker. <laughs> 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 teasing our electrical engineer. I don't know. It might have been me. It might have been. can't remember. <clears throat> I should turn the craft on and give it a bump. Bump, I'll do that. Oh, yeah. 
it. Ooh, what's happening? A lamp up here. Oh no, I'm not going fast enough. Yeah. I just sped it up. Watch the Delta, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> You've been warned. Horrible Ar Argus pilot. Easily distracted. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Yeah. <laughs> I think it, it runs with our name. <laughs> fish. There's a fish. We're going to teach Megan to keep an eye on the ROV pilots. <laughs> <sighs> Why do I have to be the adult? You're in, in the charge. front row. That's why. <laughs> I'm responsible adult. And you've got the impending button of doom over in the corner. It's not impending. <laughs> it's just telling you, hey, we can track our vehicles now. Uh, don't pull the red lever. <laughs> yeah, that's the impending. Pending. The, this is the impending lever of yes. doom. Okay. Gotta turn everything off. <gasps> so that's why you're in charge, Megan. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Only real adults can sit in the corner with the giant red lever. <laughs> yeah. The upside is that we don't have SPL in the van, so <laughs> at least then I don't have to keep track of everybody's language. <laughs> Reservoir is coming back up. Whew. How do I have a tether wrap all of a sudden? How'd that happen? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can just zero it. That's when you did the octans. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. Spun around. That makes sense. Or not zero it, yeah. I don't think it magically turned around on the way up. No. <laughs> it was at zero on the bottom. It was. It's when you cycle the hook dance. Yeah. It hunts around through north or something. Yeah. Well, that's huge. Yeah, well, we'll have a, we might have a green board next dive. Jake green. found our, Jake found our ground faults. Oh yeah, go Jake. Yeah. Uh, O2 sensor and butt cam. Butt cam we kind of already knew, but... Uh, didn't you think it was the whip, though? Didn't you? Weren't you looking at the whip? I think it... Tether cam whip. Yes. Yes. I think it was still... Uh... Oh, I need to... What's happening? Are you going that fast? I just not caught up yet. You're not caught up yet. Um, didn't we see a ground fault on the aft camera whip? Aft camera whip? Even when it was unplugged? Yes. <laughs> Wasn't there something with the CTD too? That's the ONC CTD. Oh, okay. That's not plugged into you. Not right now. It's not powered on. It's on the vehicle, but it's not powered yeah. on. Poor Mike. Didn't get very much sleep. <laughs> I don't know why those guys don't work 12s. I keep gently prodding that. I know. I didn't want to have to wake him up. It felt yeah. so bad. I, mean, I don't know why him and Josh aren't working. Oppo. 
They don't trust each other, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> they both got to stay up for 24 hours. <laughs> Do two half deck guys make one full deck guy? <laughs> you know, one of them slept in two days. Um, <laughs> that's how it was on the, the tech challenge last year. It was like every three hours, we, it was like Mesobot, Drix, Nui, Mesobot, Drix, Nui, three hours. Three hours. It's like, couldn't yeah. get more than an hour and a half of sleep. Yeah, that's for a week at a time. That's, that's not cool. That wouldn't was, be. That, that's usually like it wouldn't be allowed. Yeah. If anything happened and they went back and looked back through the, you know, like it's mandatory in the trades that you get a certain amount of time off deck. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because you know Safety. stuff happens. And yeah, they you, go, you they miss go look stuff at if the, you're tired. They go look at the root cause analysis, and that's you know because yeah. people didn't have enough rest. Some of the yeah, uh, it's actually got quite ridiculous. Some of the uh, companies make you log your uh, like we have to log it in our log, but in, in our in our weekly reports we have to one of the forms we have to fill out is how much time off deck everybody had. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's where you see that well, sometimes you see me, right, you know, on deck or off deck for us. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, that's where that habit comes from. <coughs> yeah, same that they're, you know, really strict on that with a Marine crew or a truck driver, for mm -hmm. example. Yeah. You know, I don't, it seems crazy that we don't. STCW uh, states that you must have an eight-hour period off between any 16-hour period of work. Yeah. yeah. There's a whole regulation that's written into stone with uh, SOLUS, IMO, STCW, all the maritime uh, safety organizations. Yeah. And that's why it's been ado widely adopted throughout the industry to do four hours on, eight hours off for watch standing. Yeah, which is crazy because you can't get eight hours of sleep. No, but you can get six hours of sleep, and mm -hmm. then you can take a nap in the afternoon and get your extra two to two and yeah. a half, three, yeah. uh, depending. I have to say, I think I prefer the 12. Having doing totally. The 12? Yeah. Totally. Like this yeah, that is four-hour watches twice a day are brutal. Yeah. I just Especially think it's hard to be in the van for 12 hours. You're yeah, not, though. I would think so. Yeah. I guess you guys Danny's are sitting right here right now because he wants to. <laughs> he could be yeah. sleeping in the lounge right now if he wanted to. Really? That's a thing? Yeah. Yeah. No, if you're not sitting here, you do definitely do not have to be in the van. I was just in here to oh, I'm having be I the third person telling you how to fly the ROV. <laughs> yeah, you should have uh, seen when I first got joined uh, Lukai, and I was not even a watchstander on Lukai. I was just like deck assistance. I was yeah. in the van constantly. <laughs> Yeah. There's, you can't get me out of here. It's just not a thing. <laughs> Gotta drag you out. <laughs> Pretty much. But with the, with the, it's a little hard on challenging on here because, you know, not all three of us are intimately familiar with the system and ONC jobs are not your typical. Yeah, the ONC is a little bit more intense. Yeah, there's all. a little bit yeah. higher expectations. And it's mm -hmm. not like when we're in learning vessel mode, I would have no problem. I leave the kids in here unattended all the time, even mm -hmm. though I'm supposed to be in here all the time. <laughs> 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 but I'll go, you know, I'll keep tabs. Right, right. From you know, the there's other people whatever. who are experienced. Yeah, yeah. I'm just happy to be a part of it. Yeah, me too, me, me too. We thought Macon was going to get some stick time tonight. There was going to be a blue water transit. Yeah. I was excited. Well, at least I got my tour earlier. So now I know where, what all the buttons are and where all the information is that might be important. There's a, uh, I can probably forward it to you, there's a read the docs ROV thing that I 
made that has screenshots of all the different screens and it tells what the basic buttons do. Oh, okay, yeah. I plagiarized the hell out of Trevor's description and I just took <laughs> put in the pictures. <laughs> yeah, no, well, the pictures are really helpful. Yeah. I could read like a whole bunch of words and just be like, yeah, okay, I understand. And then go to do it and I'm like, I didn't understand a thing. <laughs> a picture, I'm like, okay. Well, he, he had pictures in it too, but it was all in a PDF. But mm -hmm. and read the docs. You just scroll down so you get like the full. You can get the full screen and yeah. see the description see of what everything. every button does. Yeah, I updated it a little for with some minor changes, but most of the work was done by Trevor. It's good to have various formats for you know different minds. Yeah, we're trying to get some time to work on that kind of stuff. So when people come out here, they are more familiar with, you know, mm -hmm. they don't have to, like, learn new software, you know. Right. Like the first, you know, Microsoft or Apple update or the first time you sit down at a Linux computer, for example, that's, mm -hmm. what, that's what people have to um, deal with. That plus all the excitement of operations. And yeah, and everything. Yeah. I think I was... My second or third expedition before I touched any of these buttons. <laughs> so I had Gabby sitting here and Rennie sitting there, and like I couldn't do anything except the only thing they would let me touch is the joy box. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Gabby even did all the stuff on the, and I didn't even touch the GUI. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's a good thing I had a nice transit over to load the entire system. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you just get thrown in. No, it was great. I, I would not be nearly as good as I am at the craft right now without that transit. I, Dan was able to give me several hours of practice. My first grab, I squeezed an, an anemone, oh. just and it was like a big oval, and at the end, it was an hourglass. <laughs> <laughs> Still have a picture of it up on oh deck. Yeah. Collected the sample, but yeah, <laughs> squeezed, squeezed it. I yeah, think these, I jaws, that these jaws are challenging. Yeah. I mean, I stuck I a claw down. into the top of a urchin. Yeah, well, that urchin was paper thin. <laughs> you could well, have done that with just your finger. Yeah, we were trying everything we could to collect that urchin, though. Like, oh, well, I'm just going to kind of hold it in the jaw, and I just, like, barely closed it, and it just... Yeah. <laughs> Oop. Okay, we'll try another... We'll try a different way on the next one, and... Plenty of urchins out there. Yeah. Not well, these ones. Yeah, these ones are brand oh, new. Super new rare. S yeah, new species. Oh, no. <laughs> yep. But once we found the first one, we started seeing them all over the place. It was crazy. Hmm. You know, it's like we had never seen these things, and we'd been going to the same spot for years and years. Really? And all, yeah. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, brand new species. Oh. And and then we found one, and we found like at least seven more. So what what caused them to move in? Or are they invasive, or did they? Have no, no. Uh, they live there. It's just I don't know. Um, Things are really patchy in the in the deep sea, so sometimes you miss stuff. And while we had been going there, we hadn't been doing extensive transecting. Yeah. And then on this particular cruise, we were doing a lot of transects, and so we ended up seeing a number of these urchins after covering so much ground. And then they aren't exactly at Station Aloha; they were like off to like the southeast. Mm -hmm. So, like, maybe they just don't travel up to where we usually survey. Interesting. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of weird. Even though, like, it's physically kind of the same environment, but, you know, there's a difference in maybe 10 meters, which apparently in the abyssal plane can make a big difference in the ecology. Yeah. Which you wouldn't think, but apparently you'd be wrong. There's, there's a lot more going on. It, it seems like a desert in those types of areas, these like big, open, vast areas of ocean where there's only a couple, maybe 
10 to 20 meters difference in elevation across this whole space. But the, the little hills have a slightly different, you know, a certain net of organisms compared to the sort of low spots. Mm -hmm. But you usually see those planes like dominated by. Oh, we're just talking. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning, Ariel. <laughs> yes, of course. I will let you know when we get closer to the surface. Yeah, thank you. I'm hoping we get to do some uh, transects in the um, the canyons. There was some talk about doing a, a transect over there. Oh yeah. Yeah, so we get to see some coral. I'd be excited to see that. Yeah. Just cover all the different types of like habitats. Got like our muddy bottoms and our vents and canyons. It'd be really cool. to the login screen. This is 73. I lost track of the dive numbers. Yeah, it's Sorry. Did you hear Megan what time they want to go back off deck? So the plan, the ideal plan is that we get on deck and we're going to um, travel back over to MEF and do a dive there as soon as possible. What's MEF? The Where we were before, earlier today. Endeavor. Yeah, Endeavor. Oh, no, that's the... I've lost the plot where it was earlier today. Uh, yeah, it, where it's we put the tool basket? Yeah. 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 So it's not too far, but we'll go back over and try to get some stuff down there. 
How long will it um, take to get there? Um, it's not very far. They Maybe said it's like six an, kilometers away? Yeah, like an hour yeah. or two. Give you guys a little bit of time to turn over the vehicle. The tool basket still down there? No. Yeah? Yeah. 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 <laughs> we haven't Sorry. hooked it up. Sorry. <laughs> I, was, I was like, we well, were covered stuff today. Those are the sediment traps. Hopefully, isn't overtaken by crabs. Sure they really want to clean that. Yeah, the crabs really like it. <laughs> I keep having to fight them. <laughs> yeah. Had to fight one today. I think it was a crab. What was that thing? Sea star? Oh, there, yeah, there was a... On the a, tool basket? Yeah, there was a sea star. No, it was on uh, the experiment. It was, like, oh. taking over the bottle, so I had to, like, push it off. <laughs> nudge. Gently nudge. Nudge. <laughs> I had to slightly relocate it. Yeah, that's about five relocation. kilometers away. So... I wonder if ONC is going to have a bunch of stuff to take down again. Well, at least now we got horsepower. Well, it just takes longer to you know, rig all the crap. And just the ballast and all that. It's just a straight turnaround. It's yeah, I don't know if they're going to want to plan to do the whole like shebang or just like a modified version of it. So we will have to do our ballast because we ditched all those. We'll have to do that anyways, right? Yeah. I think uh, it should be pretty pretty easy though, because we're we didn't have much on the vehicle, so it won't be much to change. And I never di did hear back from Jeb whether he looked at that CTD drawing and decided if it was. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, if he wants us to rip it off quick. Uh, what do you send me? How's the weather looking for tomorrow? I don't know. I never even bother. It's above my pig right on this. I can pull up windy for you. There you go. It's on the sonar right screen. Or no, the high pack screen. I can see from here orange. Orange yeah. is bad. Orange. <laughs> yeah. When does it come up over 20? Uh, 7 o'clock. In the morning? In the morning. Mm. Yeah, they'll be a bit more conservative around Endeavor because... You know, yeah, I mean, it'll be on the borderline of what we can launch in, but only if things are aligning properly. The wind's out of the uh, northeast, mm -hmm. northwest, sorry. Yeah. yeah, but the sea state's gonna pick up a bit. So, we'll see. You never know. What's it on? It's on... Uh, it's on the... Uh, the high packs plan or no survey might be called high pack too <coughs> lagging over here too there you go Yeah. 
It's it's questionable. We'll see. That looks like our regular daily calm day at Palmyra. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like, you know, given what I know we've been able to operate in, it, it could be doable, but you just never know until the time comes. Yeah, pretty much. They want to keep the knots under 25? Yeah, that's ideal. The above 20, the vessel struggles to uh, move sideways. But, you know, diving at the vent sites, we want to make sure that we don't lose, you know, ship maneuverability. Last time we were here, we did, and we took a ride to the south, and uh, there was always an argument with the scientists versus the engineers, you know, mm -hmm. it's an engineering crews and they wanted to do more science <laughs> so there's a balance there right yeah but we got uh blown off and took a pretty significant ride to the south and we went over i forget what one to the south one of the big tall structures mm -hmm. and so when we get blown off i'll go i'll get out in front of uh, argus or atlanta as far as i can mm -hmm. and just you know ride it along with the ship so i don't get drugged pulled tail to tail. Right. And uh, we saw this sonar target, so it's like right in our path. So watching it, watching it as we come up, we lifted uh, Argus up a little, so it kind of disappears out of the sonar, and we flew right over the top of a big structure. <laughs> we oh, were geez. able to stop just, you know, for about 60 seconds or so, and like look around at the smoker, and didn't get any real good video. But then on the way back, so after the ship recovered it, we were moving back at a little more sedately pace. Uh, Steve said, can you take a Niskin as we fly over? <laughs> we, we did. We <laughs> got a couple Niskins right in the smoke. I was nice. pretty happy with it. It was funny. You know, sometimes opportunities just arise when you yeah, when things don't expected. go as planned. Yeah. Like there's no way we would have, you know, approved that time to go all the way down there to take a Niskin. Mm-hmm. Well, and sometimes these structures are hard to find. So. Yeah, yeah. Surprisingly hard to find. There used to be an L LBL array out here years and years ago. Mm -hmm. But it was never maintained. I don't know why they don't put one, a modern one in. I guess should should see if uh, anybody responds on the deck. Yep, we're about half an hour, 20 minutes. Deck control. <coughs> I suppose I should start paying attention here. No, well, we're still 500 meters. Uh, we should be streaming too, Megan. Yeah, I was going to start that as well. I've been slowly making Herc's way around. Yeah, we'll just Bridge now. stream it. will come around. Hey, so we're about 20 minutes from recovery. Uh, can we start streaming forward at 0.3 knots and uh, do all those fun things like securing our tanks and enabling air to tuggers? Okay, great. And then Oh, and um call the captain when you're ready. All right, great. Thanks.
All right. Deck control. I haven't seen any movement down there. You could also call the lounge and All right. see if anyone's hanging around in there. Lounge, nav. Lounge, nav. Mike said, ah, forget it, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> yeah. Well, better go find him. With this earlier when we recovered, I said, oh, it'll be a couple hours and get your head down. Then I changed my mind before he even. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even. So he didn't even get to lay down and close his eyes. We're like, yeah, Danny, we're gonna, we're do you think you could you. go see if anybody's out on deck? I can guarantee no one's out on deck. But uh, or like, you know, uh, in the general vicinity of like I wakefulness. Don't know Mike, Here, Mike's, hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Uh, source cams. Da, 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 da. Hanger. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Hanger. Uh, no, nope. nobody. Nobody home. No. Uh, where is Mike's room? I don't even know where it is. I don't know either. Check the lounge first, and then there's a... Uh, the birthing is on the wall yeah, right, the by, the, right by, by the lounge. Right by the lounge. It's yeah. downstairs by my room on the third door. It would help if we had names on our uh, doors. Hey, I, I don't know. Uh, we're going to send somebody to look for him. I haven't gotten a response from him yet. Okay, I'll go see what I can go find. Okay. Roger. Am I getting this hang out at 75? Yeah. So. Yeah. Just get this up front. Great, thanks. Yeah, Danny just left to go find him too. Do you have to wake people up on the KM to launch or recover? Yeah, we do. It's the worst yeah. part of the job. Yeah. I, I hate it. It's the same on the Thompson. I hate it, too. Oh, there goes Rennie. <laughs> <laughs> Ran into Rennie. He's going to go uh, rouse the deck crew. Thanks, Danny. I thought you did rouse him. I, re I found re Rennie. Uh, I thought Megan did or somebody did. Oh, I was talking to Allison in the lounge. No, I mean earlier, before you came in. No, I didn't see anybody before I came in. Oh. I didn't know we were recovering until, like, Until so you in came here. in here? Yeah. <laughs> well, I saw Danny earlier, like, you know, 20 minutes earlier, and it sounded like we were on bottom having a good time. We were. We were. <laughs> and I sat down. <laughs> <laughs> Subject to change without notice. Yep. So, you know, I was like, oh, cool. We're going to have the rest of the night. It's like chilling, doing transects. Yeah. This will be a cool launch on Camport with the moon in the background. Yeah. I had that up earlier. Well, hell, why don't we just do this? Launch and recovery? Bang. Yeah. The go. moon is oh, just yeah. so bright. Nighttime recoveries are really pretty. It's, it's cold it's out there, too. I think it's yeah, full. Yeah, it is. Is it? Oh. It's nice in here. Can't, we can't pan up anymore. Oh, there it is. Ed was playing fighter pilot on the... 
joystick over there earlier <laughs> and it all zoomed in. He was trying to keep it in the center of the camera. Yeah, it looked like he was going <laughs> to rip the joystick off. <laughs> I was telling him I have some space uh, flight simulators that I think he would enjoy. Surprisingly, the uh, space flight simulator operates a lot like uh, an RV. Mm. You know, you give it a little bump this way, bump that way, just kind of keep it in center. Yeah, well, you can move in any direction, basically. Yeah. Underwater is like in space. Mm -hmm. The only real difference is that there uh, is a down underwater, whereas space. Take your, uh, <laughs> take your forwards off, Jake. I got a dragon Atlanta now. You can pin the ladder if you want. See how that goes. The ship's moving now, so you don't need the forward way on. In theory. In theory. In theory. Running the ladder was that hard. We had one of them fly right off. That's what Josh said. <laughs> 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 Things are just falling off the vehicle. Totally. Left and right. Totally. <laughs> New frame, old vehicle. Yeah, we came up. And the other ship did post dive checks and everything. I saw it out there the next morning. Then we knocked off for the night, right? And come out the next morning and I'm sitting there drinking my coffee looking at the vehicle like, why is it so oily everywhere? <laughs> Just pop right off. And they asked the other ship, so how did post time checks go? Oh, they were fine. Oh. <laughs> did you <even laughs> look at the vehicle? <laughs> no, we did water checks a long ago. Yeah. So it must have happened like really close on recovery, because mm -hmm. otherwise we would have bled to death. We wouldn't have noticed that with the comps. And there was no water in anything. So we were really lucky in that aspect. Hmm. What popped off? <laughs> one of the, one of the uh, lateral, the laterals, the whole shaft and the and, and the blade and everything. Oh God! Spontaneously ejected. Oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't want to be here anymore. Wait, someone pulled the red lever. That, yeah, <laughs> someone pulled the red lever. And that um, opens up the crane seal, which vents our primary comp. Because we're, we've talked about putting a separate comp on. In fact, we should do that because I got one now. I put another comp on for the thrusters only. Mm. There you go. Another uh, shilling comp. No, another Christ comp. Ah. I'm a bit kind of loath to use our spare. It's supposed to be our spare comp, but no. and we didn't have fittings for it, and so I robbed the fittings off a of little Herc, so it's obviously sitting there on the refrigerator, <laughs> waiting to become a thruster comp. Uh, I was wondering what that was doing there. Uh, I had it hooked up to um, that pressure tolerant, uh, our Ethernet board that we're testing, and that J-Box that's sitting on the bench. So what, we're going to stick that Ethernet board in my chamber when we get back to Honolulu? No, it's already, it's, it works, well, the mod works at depth, but what it doesn't tolerate is, so <laughs> when we put it in the starboard J-Box, we neglected to fully seat that QD. Uh-oh. <laughs> and, like, someone, whoever put it in there, just unclick the QD or some I don't know. Anyways, this QD wasn't fully seated during a dive, and so because we have all the oily cables and such, it didn't implode, but it did flood the J-Box, and there was, you know, about an inch of water in the bottom of that J-Box. 
and the board was like an inch and a quarter, so it got some salt water on the board because some of the components are rusty. I'm like, oh. So Robert cleaned it up, and is, he's got a magic talent for reviving flooded, uh, freaking nasty components the rest of us would throw in the trash can. He got it all working again. And uh, I put it in that J box, and we were going to do a live dive with it. We're actually pumping Ethernet through it. I b borrowed one of the ramen guys had an Ethernet camera. So I had that all hooked up, and then it quit working again. So this obviously didn't like the salt water, but didn't care about the pressure. Because it worked, uh, so it, it was working after the. Yeah, it rode up and down in that J-Box for, I don't know, four or five dives, deep dives. I have another one and all the parts to modify it. Not, we just took the crystal off and Robert bought some cylindrical crystals and he got some, um, that super, that epoxy that's, you know, what's the word I want? Not, what's the opposite of syrup? when you're talking about viscosity. Low viscosity? Yeah. Uh, yeah, low viscosity. Yeah. So he potted the little crystal on a little eighth-inch stainless steel tube, soldered that on the board, and covered the yeah. whole mess in epoxy. You can also use, like, JB Weld. What's that? JB Weld, a, a, a little yeah. epoxy. Yeah. Did you slow down, or? No, I slowed down. The epoxy he has is some stuff, I don't know, some special Robert stuff he's used for potting electronics before. Did they make an epoxy that's silicone-like so you could peel it off if you needed to, instead of it being... Yeah, it doesn't... It works, but it doesn't work very well. The oil attacks it. And mm. It's a, kind of a mess. The epoxy you got is a lot like the stuff that Brennan used for the deep eye. Yeah. Yeah. Same, I think, same stuff. Two, two part. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we didn't uh, degas it first though, because we don't <laughs> have a vacuum out here. We stuck it in the syringe and like held the end of the syringe and pulled on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor man's vacuum. Yeah, it's better than nothing. You yep. can. Uh, Our deep eye survives six thousand meters. You can yeah. take. Yeah, you got. Have to pull it back out. We're going to stick it on somewhere. Ours made it to 50. I should tell Brennan I want another one. You should. I need one to go meters? with my pressure tolerant electronics yeah. board. Yeah. Yeah, but it sat in the, it sat for a year in the uh, in the heat in Los Angeles. Oh. And oh. We, we think the epoxy was somehow compromised. Yeah, that Yeah, I might do it. Maybe we should double test dollars before putting it back on the vehicle again. Yeah, well, if it can't survive a year sitting on a shelf in San Pedro, I don't know. It's not going to last. Yeah, They're not meant to. Yeah, not meant to. For not this meant type for longevity, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the problem is we didn't have the bandwidth to push it. We've got T100 base uh, Ethernet on uh, Nuukai. That should be fine for the Pi. Yeah, but so is the control system running through the same Ethernet. Yeah, still. It's only like a couple megabits a second. You'd think. The bumpers and the little I could, I lines from Atalanta. It looks What's like that? a I can pop one up for you. Send it out. Oh, yeah. Send it to you. Yeah. It's so happy. It needs it's a happy frog. It's, yeah, it looks like a happy frog. Yeah, so it needs a PBOF cable on it. Uh, this cable okay. we can stick in a darn gland. Yeah. Which you can, Shilling's done that. They just, you know, pot the end of the cable about that far, yeah. run up the wires, and then so the, then that gets oil up to there. It runs through the wires a little bit, but not bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I'll show you the box we got. Yeah, yeah. We also have some other little 
Ethernet boards that they're using in the sexting cameras, and uh, they're about their gigabit Ethernet boards about yay big, and we think we can modify the crystal on those too. So we could, in theory, have an array of deep eyes. Yeah. We could have like six of them, or no, the four of them. Four of them. Yeah. Make a good download camera. That's what our plan was on it. Before I had a chance to tinker with it and make it work, I was told to rip it off the vehicle. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happened with our first. <laughs> yeah. First try too. Anything ground faulty, Roberts? Like, get it off. Yeah, we just had green sea dropouts and instantly was told, get that thing off there. Yeah. It wasn't its fault. No, Probably it wasn't Sea Log's fault yeah, either. Yeah, same as the poor Sea Log. Sea <laughs> Log wouldn't even touch it. Sea Log was just there, like, being helpful. They're like, hey, you want to log those things that you did so you don't forget? Yeah, you get those knee jerk reactions when it comes to high dollar day rate vessels. Well, you know, I, I get the, I get the, you know, response. It's like, okay, well, we didn't have this before, and now it, now it's here, and now we're having issues. Even if it doesn't make sense, sometimes you just do stuff, just so that you know. Like, okay, let's just reduce the complexity of the problem. Looks like the troops are rallied. Yep. They can probably come off the verts anytime. So I'm going to stop here in five meters. Uh, you might want to... Oh no, we're still moving forward. Yeah. Okay, we're all stopped 75 meters. Oscar. Deck control. Megan, ask them if they need another uh, person down there. Deck control. Control deck, all copy. Stop at seven five meters. Roger. Um, do you need anyone else down there? Uh, I think that we are okay right now, unless a uh, ROV person wants to come down and do ground straps. You wanna go? Yeah, I gotta go put my boots on. Danny? I think Danny's gonna head down. I'm gonna fall down on my butt again. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. It's good to have a RV peep down there. You can keep an eye on the vehicle. Bridge, bridge, back deck. Back deck, bridge. I'm just gonna go ahead and continue recovery. Charlie to continue. Thank you.
so many squids. Nav, nav, back deck. Go ahead, deck. See Hercules coming up a little bit to starboard of the A-frame. Roger. Now. Uh, we, don't, cut. we don't have to reduce Can trust. Reduce trust 25%. <laughs> I thought that. Okay, 25%. I thought we wrote that out of the procedure. It right. was written out, and now it's circled and says yes with an exclamation point. <laughs> so I'm taking that as now we need to do it. I'll have to talk to Rennie about that. All right. Well, <laughs> it was reinstated. <laughs> Can I kill your miso? Yes, yes, please. What did he did he talk to uh, oh, Trevor about that? Sorry, yeah. I got it. Thank you. <coughs> that caused us to lose position on the uh, previous expedition. Oh. Whoa. I thought it made it easier for them to get Atalanta on board. Well, it can, yeah, but <clears throat> if we have weather, yeah, and you reduce thrust by 25% the vessel loses position because, you know, you're reducing thrust to 25%. Right, right, right. And it runs over the fucking ROV. It got, it got. Now bridge. We are actually box. moving to now, um, minus zero. Roger, thrust. can we increase thrust? Okay. I think I just, yeah. So what I was just talking about, that's yeah, what yeah. happens. Okay. I'm well, trying to I'm just following my instructions. I know. Well, but I appreciate I the uh, feedback, so now I can make better choices. Yeah, so it should be a call. I'm full lateral here. Mm -hmm. All right, I was... Uh, I'll make a note and let Trevor deal with it. He, it's his problem now, <laughs> except right. for, you know, trying to run over the ROV while we're recovering. <laughs> How you doing, Jake? Do you want me to hold position? No, uh, I want to keep moving keep forward. Keep driving forward. Cool beans. That was also circled, so that's why I'm checking in. All 
Okay, right. See, look, come here. Does he have that circled as you automatically do that, or you check with the deck and the pilot? Um, well, it's, it says to uh, hold position, and then there's another one that says check. Van deck, can you have Hercules drive forward just a little, please? Roger. Yeah. Driving forward. Well, the ship's moving backwards, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. good luck with that. <laughs> It's 45,000 pounds if you stop thrusting, the wind pushes it. Van deck, have Hercules hold there, please. Roger. It's hard to hold, but we'll try. And we didn't catch it either. The captain had to catch it. So, uh, I was just watching the tether, and I noticed I had to drive faster a little bit more, but I didn't yeah. realize it was the ship backing down. So if you are going to do that, Megan, yeah, keep an eagle eye on what the ship is doing. Okay. We should we should not have missed that, and I should have been watching as well. So one of the three of us up here should have caught that. Hey, the ship's trying to run over the ROV. Yeah. <laughs> so all, all three of us are bad. I mean, we caught it, the captain caught it in time, but um, last time that happened, it got Dicey. A, a lot further out of the box, yeah. So what happens, the ship starts going backwards, and um, yeah, Hurt gets off the side, and yeah. Yeah, it can get right out of the box, especially in weather. Mm -hmm. It didn't so. look like it made recovering Atalanta any easier either, so yeah. Yeah. Maybe we just don't do that. So uh, I prefer to keep it moving the whole time, keep power, and keep everything, the old saying, steady as she goes. Okay. Is my personal preference. But, you know, uh, different strokes for different folks. But when the wind's up, uh, yeah. wh what happened in that case, you know, uh, it happened to be a squall coming through, you know, wind picked up, blew the ship was moving mm -hmm. a lot faster astern and they couldn't get it back by the time they you know put the uh, <coughs> thrust back on and then the DP went haywire and the ship went sideways and you know it was and we had a wrap in the tether and it was a really not pleasant recovery These are only, what, one to two meter swells? Yeah. Well, oh, look at that fish. <laughs> yeah. It's following you. It has cool fins. I really like that dragonfish you found earlier. Oh, yeah. It got well-loved and appreciated.
What are you gonna do with it? Um, I don't know. We took a bunch of pictures of it. Uh, maybe one of the ONC folks preserved it. Oh I yeah. Know. I kind of handed it off. I was mildly curious to see uh, what it ate. It looked like it had a full belly. <laughs> that was quite the voracious looking predator. Yeah. With a little <laughs> tiny freaking razor <laughs> teeth. Razor teeth. And it's like, meow, meow. And the mouth that opens super wide. You can swallow things bigger than your head. Yeah. Hey. And deck. Can you go ahead and have Hercules all stop on thrusters? Roger, all stopped. Another reason to keep moving forward. So if we get tangled up, uh, a line in the vehicle, anything like that, mm -hmm. Jake can just let go of it. That makes sense. And deck, we have 10 meters from transom. Roger. Uh, since we're moving, were you thrusting forward there? Was that what? No. Nope. No. Uh, I'm just pulling them in. I was just giving it a little bit of trying to keep my heading the right way. Yeah. That's just all. Keep the ship on your tail. Yeah. The crane will do the rest. And uh, Kirkley's is passing the transom. Roger. Bypass any time. Bypass first, Jake. Oh, my bad, yeah. Tilt down just a little with that camera for us, Pete. Pete, can you tilt down with the uh, port? Yeah, there you go. That's good, thanks. Uh, you can kill it. 